all right what's going on everybody jason trio here with bitrio.com today is friday may 28th 2021 and we just cashed a few scholars out yes pretty awesome doing that i do love it see how much land is over here in splinter lands yeah i like sending people money man it's a pretty good feeling uh you know of course i get a little bit of that i get a little cut but i only get 30 percent, dude the majority of that 70 percent goes to the scholars so it is cool man sending somebody a large <laughs> chunk of change and knowing that that's helping them you know knowing like yo that's their pay man you know they're getting paid they work they put in the time they put in the effort and finally you know they're reaping the reward so that's nice i do like that shit it's kind of like a closure like yo we did all this we did all this bam we finally get paid you know what i'm saying and it's perfect too because it's friday it's payday people are getting paid today baby and that's what we like to do pay the people now question i have for splinterlands is when the hell am i gonna get paid actually you know what we could do with splinterlands today we could take a look at their recent post announcing splinter shards now 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 i know most of you are probably like bro you caught this you nailed it yes yes <laughs> yes i did I knew this was gonna happen. As soon as I learned how deck, Dark Energy Crystal token for Splinterlands was just gonna be pegged or this or that, or they didn't want it to moon. Kind of like Small Love Potion or Smooth Love Potion and Axie. You know, it's kind of like, yeah, hey, you know, this is the token we give out to all you plebs. But really what they want you to own in Axie Infinity is access token that's what they're gonna pump that's what they're gonna work on that's the governance token so once i learned that you know i'm learning in the gaming industry in the business industry we trying to make money now i'm not saying you can't make money off of these tokens of course you know as long as there's some sort of peg value or some value you can always earn them and exchange them earn them and exchange them but if you're trying to hold something you know you're trying to hodl First of all, the only thing really worthy of hodling is, as you all know, that Bitcoin, baby. That Bitcoin, of course. I mean, if you're gonna hodl anything, why wouldn't you hodl the scarcest asset in the world? Now, of course, you could always say, well, it's so goddamn expensive. Actually, no, it's cheap. 60K, 40K, whatever the fuck it is. That's cheap as balls. Whenever they're accepting you know us dollar or whatever the fuck when it, whenever people are taking your dollars or fiat or any other crypto <laughs> for bitcoin that's a blessing that's amazing because there will be a time in the future where don't nobody want to exchange any of your fucking crypto for bitcoin any of your cash nobody's gonna want it nobody's gonna want to give you bitcoin for any of your shit and that's true that's real that shit's gonna fucking happen but anyway, we're gaming, you know, look, like I say, man, you always have your, your family, your legacy, your savings, you know, your 401k, whatever you got, your retirement plan, that's your fucking Bitcoin shit. That's your Bitcoin shit. But then of course we're going to game. We're going to fuck around with other tokens, you know, shit coins, shit tokens, whatever the fuck. Yeah. You know, there's a place for these fucking shit coins. Come on because they don't need the security you know these these tokens they do this they do that you're playing a game you're earning you're in you're out you're you know it creates an opportunity for people to earn so there's definitely a place just don't get confused all right we're getting a little off topic here but that's the love for bitcoin you know i mean it's just so incredibly valuable and powerful that I just had to get that out there, man. Uh, it really is amazing. It really is in a league of its own. It, it really is the shark, the great white in the ocean or the whatever, the apex predator in the fucking world. And it's got all these little fish swimming around it. You know, that's that's coin gecko. That's coin market cap. That's that's the crypto market where you got all the other coins that popped up. 
from Bitcoin. They're the little fish, you know? They're picking up the scraps. There's a place for those little fish, you know? Let them be, man. Let the fish be. All right, anyway, we called this fucking Splinterlands announcing a governance token, Splinter Shards. Yeah, yeah, we know, we know. Three years ago, Splinterlands, or Steam Monsters as it was known at the time, was launched. And guess what? I was in that shit, bro. I was in the very first season three years ago, though? Damn, I've been playing this shit for three fucking years. Crazy as hell, right? That's why I want to earn off of Splinterlands. Where the fuck? Can I earn off of this shit? Like, no, you know, not really. It's probably because it's not on Ethereum. It's on Hive. Hive is doing some other shit. You know, the fees aren't high on Hive. But Hive is just dicking around. They're not making it happen. Ethereum's where all the fucking hot shit's happening is if you're talking about gaming. So come on, Hive. Get your fucking shit together. Otherwise, Splinterlands is just going to bounce. I predicted that too. I already predict that. Splinterlands hops on their own blockchain. They just create their own fucking shit. They don't give a fuck. That's what I think. You know? They'll do that shit, man. They were Steam Monsters, now they're Splinterlands. They were on Steam blockchain, now they're on Hive. You don't think they can just bounce to their own shit? Shit. Shit, hell yeah they can. And I think they will. Alright, so they launched nothing more than a basic website, some leftover artwork. Oh, damn, some leftover artwork. Oh, shit. Leftover artwork. Yeah. They calling out those artists. Oh, shit. That shit was just left over, bro. Damn, son. That is one of the knocks on Splinterlands, too. The artwork is fucking butt cheeks. They need to get that artwork up and better. And it seems like it is. It's getting better and better. But yeah, you know, the artwork, it's just like, you know, it sucks. But whatever. Hey, shout out to Splinterlands. They're doing a great job, dude. I mean, they've come from this. I promise that it would turn into something more. And it has, man. So, an unbelievable amount has changed over the past three years. But one thing that has stayed the same. <laughs> Insert joke here. It's the driving mission behind the entire project. I had a fuck. <laughs> hey, bro. Get your mind out of the gutter. To return ownership and control of in-game assets to players. This is what people say, too. And yeah, yeah, it does. But really, that's not the mission. Everybody's trying to make money. And to allow players to share. It's like pandering. It's like when we do like the months to honor people or we do this. It's like uh, so many things are just not genuine in this world. Unfortunately, everyone, you must know that nobody gives a fuck about you. Damn. I talked about this in my other videos. You know, this is just the reality of life, dude. Don't nobody give a fuck about you. You know, these these dudes ain't spinning this shit up and be like, I, <laughs> I have a dream that one day ownership and control of in-game assets will belong to the players and players will share in the rewards. Like, no, no, bro. They, they say, I have a dream about to get rich. Sure, if this could happen at the same time, if we could use this narrative to get it, then let's fucking go. And yeah, it's good. And of course they want that shit. But no, that's not the main goal. That's not the driving factor, dude. People aren't selfless like that. And I don't expect people to be selfless like that. But the marketing, the way that it's sold is such that that's at the forefront. You know? Come on. Yeah, yeah. But I get it. I get it. You know, of course, that's how you're going to sell it called marketing but this is just how i look you know it's how i view the world is how i view things when i read shit like this you're inside my mind yeah value the time and effort spent gaming generates well i need to make some money then bro like i need to get paid you know what it is it's axie infinity is spoiling me that's what it is that's what the fuck it is axie's fucking spoiling me with income you know, like the market is insane. You look at Axie market, it's like 1 million in sales every fucking day. You look at Splinterlands market, it's like 6K. Meh. 
that's what it is and you know what if you look at any game six thousand dollars a day in in market sales is probably good it's good enough right it's something but then you're looking at axie and you're like oh i just bought and sold these axes for you know three hundred dollars and i sold a splinterlands card for ten dollars that's pretty much the difference like oh i sold this axie for three hundred dollars five hundred dollars you know whatever oh i uh i sold this winterlands card for 10 bucks it's like that it's like yeah you know i just want more my expectations have just been elevated so high with axie but i still like splinterlands you know splinterlands was the first game that i really hopped into i like it i do wish it was more strategy and it wasn't so auto battle generated i'm hoping the land could do something with that but i do i think the land is just going to be more the same it's just going to be auto generated you you put your shit in and then it, it works in the background come check it in eight hours your building will be built in 12 hours come check it come back again that's what i think it's going to be and whatever you know there's there's a place for those games i don't know what the fuck they're called uh auto you know they're called something but i really never got into those games and, and actually that's that's how axie infinity started and i didn't hear of axie infinity when it first started but i seen it videos and stuff and i would have never gotten to axie if that's the way the game was if i found it back then it was just auto battles i'd have been like man fuck this the only reason i got an axie was that pvp that that quick game in where you're just hopping into a game and you're, and you're getting the, the quick card battles. You know, that's the shit I like. Like Urban Rivals. I'm telling y'all. Urban motherfucking Rivals. Used to play that game. That game was the shit. Also, Pixel. What was that Pixel game? Uh, by Mojo or something. What was it? Oh, that game was fucking awesome too, man. Dota? No, not Dota. Oh, something like that though. Fuck. That game was the shit. Where you had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine squares of attackers. You had three lines of attackers, and you could swipe up, down, left, right, or on a diagonal to attack. That game was the fucking shit too. Quick games like that are the shit. In short, after that long shit, bro, what is this video even about? I have a hard time fucking <laughs> putting a title on this fucking video. God damn. I want it to be about Splinterlands governance tokens, but I'm talking about all types of other shit. How we do though, man. It's Friday, chilling. What are you doing? You watching this shit still? Hell yeah. I know you are. Shout out to yo ass watching this shit. All right, it's short. Back to the Splinterlands. Hi. We want to turn the exploitative nature of the traditional digital game on its head. Yeah, right. Suck a nut. No, you don't. In the past three years, Splinterlands and players have won over $250,000 of tournament prizes. Yeah, look. That's so bad. I mean, it's all right. But that's so bad, guys. It's better than me, right? What have I provided? I provided zero, but dude actually have i dude like how much have i paid my scholars out <sighs> sold just shy of four million dollars worth of cards on the peer-to-peer -peer market in three years like i just said axie does a million dollars every single day <laughs> or more so four million in three years like yeah that's what it is like i'm spoiled that's probably good though that's probably good for a new game like dude four million dollar market volume in three years that's probably good people would look at that and be like yo that's good dude that's promising business like it's just just axie bro <laughs> it just turned everything on its head like it changes our expectations of what could be done and we look at this and we're just like what like that they're they're on pace to make like 400 what are they making i, th I think they make like forty thousand dollars in fees a day the team just from market sales 
That's what the fucking Sky Mavis team makes. Every single day. That's fucking ridiculous. Just imagine making 40k a day, dude. And that's probably nothing. There's tons of money out there. That it goes back to Bitcoin too. Like Bitcoin, that's how valuable it is because everything can expand. Money supply can expand. The dollars, Ethereum. All these tokens. Everything expands, expands, expands. Bitcoin is the is the solid thing. It's the rock. It's the foundation. You carve your little niche out of in Bitcoin. You carve your little niche out and you get one Bitcoin. Now you got one twenty-one millionth of the supplier, whatever the fuck percentage that breaks down to. That can never change, bruh. No one can ever dilute your shit, dog. So as the world gets bigger and bigger and expands, the value of Bitcoin, the more things it can buy, keeps increasing. How amazing is this? fucking intense though and whatever people would just be like yeah yep 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 and it but in time it's going to be obvious and then everyone's just going to be like oh okay like accept it that's the thing too there's no fucking consequences for for things like that you know like with the vaccine and shit it could fuck a lot of people up and there's just going to be no consequences it's like oh well you know you're gonna miss the boat on bitcoin or whatever you're not gonna buy it I'm from Florida or whatever. And, uh, <laughs> shout out to that dude. Anybody knows that. And it's just going to be like, oh, it's like the Kevin O'Leary thing where he comes out and he's like, oh, Bitcoin sucks ass. Fuck Bitcoin. And then people are listening to him. They don't buy it. And then he comes back out. And he's like, oh, no, I like Bitcoin. It's like, well, what the fuck? Bro? Telling me was ass all these years. Same Ray Dalio coming out. Oh, Bitcoin sucks. I'd rather buy Facebook Libra. Like, what? Are you fucking dumb? Now he comes out and says he's by bit. Like, you know, there's just no consequences. That's personal responsibility, man. It's on you, dude. Nobody's gonna save your ass. You gotta make that decision. So fuck around and find out. Alright, so four million in peer-to-peer market over three years. Though see, those are some nice numbers. Alright. Those are some nice numbers, but we think we can do better. Yeah, those probably are some nice numbers. We're just fucking spoiled. We're just fucking spoiled, so let's appreciate it, shall we? With the launch of the SPS token, Splinter Lands Shard Space. What is it? SPS. We, we're entering a completely new phase of the product. Or we hope to take player earnings and control to the next level. Yeah, it's cool. Like governance tokens are fine and all. You get to like take part into the profit sharing a little bit. So that's cool. How is it not a security? You know, I don't know. We're gonna have to learn the rules about that. Uh, all right, so here's the lore. Don't nobody give a fuck about it. SPS white paper, yeah, you know, it's just another centralized token. That sure, you know, let's 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 play a game, let's earn a token, and let's flip it. You know, and if we can live off of this, if players can game and live, if we could actually be gamers and chilling and making videos and playing video games and and just chilling and actually making a legit income then yes i'm all for it i talk a lot of shit but you know so what right i'm just keeping it real you want to do that's going to go sugarcoat it go there's plenty of those people you want a company man somebody that's up the ass of every project that comes out go ahead there's plenty of those motherfuckers that's what's around where's all the shit talkers Where's all the people that are like cutting under and, and looking at shit for real, for real, for real. But anyway, even if it isn't fucking Bitcoin, it can still work. It can still be here. It can still solve and provide something. And that is giving people an income, man. So hell yeah, I'm down for it. Let's go. Plus they're going to do some sort of airdrop. So let's see how they're going to supply and distribute this. The Splinter Shard token will be set up as a decentralized autonomous organization or DAO via a series of smart contracts, which will be published on the Binance Smart Chain. Wow. 
Wow, 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 wow. Binance Smart Chain? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me right now, Splinterlands? What in the fuck? This is a total slap in the face. Holy shit. This is a total slap in the face to Hive. Why the fuck are you going the Binance Smart Chain? Why can't Hive do it? Hive can't do it? Fuck. Fuck Hive, I guess. I mean, what the fuck is Hive even doing that? What the fuck are we even doing with Hive, bruh? Seriously. Why don't you just move Splinterlands to Hive? That's, or to fucking Binance. That's gonna happen. That's gonna fucking happen, dude. It's going to Binance. It's going to its own chain. It ain't staying with Hive. If, if Hive can't fuck around and handle this shit, handle this smart contract, then what the fuck is Hive even doing? It's just a bunch of fucking circle jerkers. You know, and no offense to fucking Aggro and Matt, but they're just out here earning money on Hive, earning fucking Hive, being witnesses and this, that, and the other thing. Obviously, they don't fucking give a fuck about Hive. Look at this shit. Oh my God. You thought I was talking shit before. Wow. Can't believe this fucking shit. This is bullshit. Wow. Damn, all interactions between the Splinterlands game, which runs on the high blockchain, not for long. And the SPS token, which runs on the BSC blockchain, will be handled via an Oracle system. Damn, so obviously Hive can't fuck around, huh? Hive can't fuck around. Hive ain't good enough. Steam wasn't good enough. Now Hive's not good enough. Damn, now it's fucking Binance chain. Well, you know what? It is what it is, you know? That, that just is what it is. It's kind of like the same thing with Bitcoin, where Bitcoin's going to eat everything up. Bitcoin's gonna just eat everything all fucking uh, Like smart contracts all things are just gonna be on Bitcoin it's Just gonna take longer because you got to have security, but everything will be built on Bitcoin everything will be built on top of Bitcoin So all this shit Right it's cool until it's not cool like hives cool until it's not cool steam's cool until it's not cool now It's a little different story with steam, but the fact that Splinterlands can't do this on Hive, it has to reach out to another blockchain to make its governance token is really fucking whack. It's whack as shit. Now, I wonder what Axie's is doing with access token. Are they leaving the Ethereum blockchain for another blockchain? Because if they're doing that too, then that's a bunch of bullshit. I don't think they are. I think everything's going to be on Ethereum or a side chain built on top of Ethereum. Why can't they do this on, on Hive? Damn, that's fucked up. Holy shit. I just want to go to the comments, but you know everybody's dick riding. All right, so airdrop. 13% of the total supply will be airdropped and player based upon the amount. Yep, whatever. All right, who gives a fuck? That's about it, folks. I guess we got to the meat of this fucking video. Wow, let's go straight to the comments, shall we? Great news. This is extremely impressive on many levels. Yes, 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 yes. What about Hive though? Don't nobody give a fuck. Damn, bro. Holy shit. Damn, so what happens with SPT Splinter Talk? Huh? Too many tokens, I can't deal. Yeah, well, they're all shit. That's what happens. It ain't gonna be used in game. If it is, it'll be some shit. Damn, bro. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Nice. Damn, bro. Damn, bro. Well, I call it like I see it. And it probably hurts some people's feelings. But it just is what it is. You know, it's like I made that video Tron Monsters. I guess Hive is just never going to do anything. You know, I don't know. I like to think about things. And you could be like, well, Hive's good for one thing. You know, it's it's like a blog. It's Well, then it'll just go away. 
Like, just look long term. Then Hive will just go away. Then, if it's just that, if it can't adapt, if it's just a, if it's just a blog. Well, then Binance Smart Chain will make a fucking blog site, <laughs> and then Hive will be done. You know, EOS or Voice or whatever the fuck. You got to do more nowadays. That's just really shitty, though. Everybody loves it. But I don't. I don't love it. I mean, I'll take my shit. I'll take my airdrop. But, yeah, so nobody's talking shit about Hive. I guess I guess these are uh, Splinter Lens players. They don't give a fuck about Hive. Yeah, so, hey, whatever. It is what it is. I mean, I just think it should have been built on Hive. I don't... I wonder how Deck... What's How's Deck work? Is Deck on... I know Deck is like... Uh, they branched out to Ethereum. They got a smart contract on Ethereum. It's just, you know, it's good for Splinterlands. And this is what um, I was always saying. Splinterlands will do what's, what it's good for itself. I guess it should have never been attached to Hive, you know? It, it's like, they, they were Steam Monsters, then they removed Steam. They should have never been attached to Steam, but that's what they use the Steam community to get started. Then it's kind of like that too with the Hive. They're using the community to keep it going. But really, they don't give a fuck about Hive. They shouldn't even be connected to Hive. They shouldn't even be on the Hive blockchain. <clears throat> this is what I'm saying. Splinterlands and Hive, it's <clears throat> it's like we're watching an evolution right in front of our eyes. <clears throat> Where S- Steam Monsters comes out on the Steam blockchain. Then they break out of Steam. They go to Hive. Now it's like they're breaking out of Hive and they're like becoming their own thing. Which is good. It's good. It's just we live behind this facade of Hive, you know being connected it's kind of like oh we're making this game for the players you know that's kind of like the facade that we're living behind and no one really seems to give a shit until it happens you know i don't know maybe i have some sort of that vision that can just look ahead and just look at the bottom line and see things just as they are now am i giving myself too (laughs) too much credit for that you may be right bro you ain't shit you don't know nothing but that just sucks for me because then it just questions why is splinterlands on hive then alien worlds and all these other games coming out on binance smart chain why isn't splinterlands just on binance smart chain and you know what they probably will be in the future damn son ain't that some fucking shit that is crazy, man. Maybe that uh, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I my mind is blown after reading that this new governance token is not on the high blockchain. Like I my mind is literally blown right now. I can't I can't even continue on with the article. Like I had to go straight to the comments, but of course nobody's saying anything bad cuz everybody dick rides either that or no one gives a fuck about hive right it's who gives a shit splinterlands baby splinterlands baby don't nobody give a fuck about hive all right well that's gonna be it for this one thank y'all for watching (laughs) later